Hi, this quick start video will help you get up and running with the Send to Unreal tool. First thing, you'll need to go to Blender and you'll need to install the add-on. Go to your Preferences, click Install. Go to the location where you have your add-on on disk and install the zip file. Once installed, go ahead and activate the plugin. You'll notice when you activate it that this pipeline menu gets built. Also, as soon as you interact with the scene, you'll also see that these collections get created in your scene. These collections are important for sending objects over to Unreal. Next thing you'll want to do is configure your Unreal project. So open up Unreal and create a new project. Once your project is open, go to your plugins. Search for Python. Enable the Python plugin. Enable the Editor Scripting Utilities plugin. Once you enable the plugins, you'll be prompted to restart the editor. Go ahead and restart. Once you've restarted, go ahead and go to your project settings. Search for Python and enable remote execution. Now Send to Unreal will work with the editor. Another thing I like to do is go to the Editor Preferences and search for CPU. I disable this setting so that Unreal continues to update even when it is not the active application. A simple test we can do to make sure this is working is move our cube to our mesh collection. Go up to Pipeline, Export, Send to Unreal. Go ahead and allow Blender access across your private network. You'll now see this untitled category that was created in our project, and also there's this untitled asset. Here is our cube that we just imported. If we're in Blender right now and we measure the size of this cube, we can see that it is only a cent uh, two centimeters tall. So let's just go ahead and scale this up to one meter. As you can see, Sentinel Reels working.